I would like to present to you a man whose great learning and veneration for the truth is only exceeded by his high moral character and magnificent presence. Now, I refer in these vague general terms to myself. I was born shy, but I got over it. Now, where it's accustomed to have introductions made, uh, I'd let, I would allow people to make these introductions. And one time, I was introduced by a lawyer who gets up on stage and he puts his hands in his pockets. And he said, I'd like to introduce to you Mr. Mark Twain, a humorist who happens to be funny. <laughs> well, I don't think they realized that they were in the presence of a creature more rare than a humorist who happened to be funny. They were in the presence of a lawyer who kept his hands in his own pockets. <laughs> now, I want to talk to you a bit about my favorite subject. And you know what that is? Writing. That, but mainly, I like talking about myself. <laughs> Now, I grew up in Hannibal, Missouri. It was a small town back then, about 500 people. Now, Missouri is right here in the Midwest. And I was actually born in a small village of 100 people called Florida, Missouri. And there's Hannibal right there. Now, the Mississippi River is a great river. It's about 1,250 miles long. The great thing about the Mississippi River was you could float boats up and down it and take cargo that went from the north down to the south. Now up in the north, they had coal, they had iron, they had wood, wool, uh, wheat, those sorts of things was needed down in the southern states. And in the southern states, they grew cotton and tobacco. Now, growing up in Hannibal was exciting because we get to see the steamboats come down at river and at night they would belch up a whole bunch of sparks out of their smokestacks that looked like galaxies of stars. It was a wonderful sight. But I got lost in that cave with the girl that I modeled. You can pass that around. Laura Hawkins. And I kept a little book with me. Well, a few years after I had become a riverboat pilot, the war between the states broke out. Uh, that was called the Civil War. Now, do, are you familiar with what happened in the Civil War? Now, how do you suppose we got from St. Joseph to Carson City, Nevada? By wagon. Lewis and Clark, about 40 years, 50 years earlier, tried to find a river that went all the way, but they couldn't. If you didn't want to take a covered wagon or a horse, or if you didn't want to sail for two months, there was the stagecoach. We left July 26th and got there on August 14th. But one site we saw that was most fascinating and interesting was the Pony Express Rider. Would take letters. How much would a letter, how much do letters cost nowadays? A gold mine is a hole in the ground with a fool at the bottom <laughs> and a liar on top. I took a journey down here to Calaveras County where I heard the story about the famous jumping frog. And then I was hired by the Sacramento Union newspaper to go all the way over to the Sandwich Islands. And they said, well, you're very good, but we can't afford you no more. <laughs> oh, I was out of a job again. <laughs> this is a picture of my house in Hannibal where I grew up, and that's me in 1902 when I went back to visit it. This is about what I looked like when we got to Nevada, and I did not want to invest in anything anymore. <laughs> well, a young man come to me, and he was working for an inventor named Alexander Graham Bell. So I got back at Mr. Bell. I had the very first telephone installed in a private residence. Problem was, there wasn't anybody else to telephone at the time. <laughs> and uh, I wasn't very good at mathematics. It made me tired. But you know that in 1835, there was a great comet called Holly's Comet that came out. And it streaked across the sky during the night that I was born.
and stayed up there for about two weeks. Well, a lot of folks guessed that uh, if I lived to be 75 or 76 years old, Ellie's Comet might come back around and go by the Earth again, and I might go out on that comet. So maybe I did. But you know, 75 years after that, the comet's been back. So you figure it out.